welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a what's in my purse video i decided to do this because i haven't done one of these since i first started this channel which was like i think two years ago so i was like you know what let me do one because i've actually been using a purse and there's so much crap in it and i'm like okay let me sh let me go through this see what i got anyways so i'm going to be doing a what's in my purse my dog is right here, you can't see him, but he's gonna take a nap because he's a papa, right, baby? Say hi, puppy. Say hi, puppy. Yeah, so he's gonna sit right there. Okay, so we're gonna go through my purse. Um, it's pretty freaking packed. This is my bag. Um, this is a Dooney bucket bag. I got this off of, um, I bought it off of somebody off of Poshmark. I paid about $45 for it. It was used, but I was like, you know what? It's okay, I like the vintage, the vintage style look. Um, so like I said, I got this on Poshmark. I paid about $45 for it. Um, originally, my sister was the one saying that she wanted this bag. And so I was gonna get it for her. Excuse me. You see yourself? You see yourself, Papa? <laughs> okay, so originally my sister had said that she wanted this bag and I was gonna get it for her. And then I went on Poshmark and I started shopping around and I was like, you know what? These bags are actually pretty cute. So instead of buying her one, I went ahead and bought me one instead. Anyways, so um, I just found this one. It's just black and brown. And then it has like the two little tassels. It's a drawstring. So you pull it up and then you open it and then you pull it up and then you close it like that. And then it has the strap, it's adjustable. Now I did buy this used, so that's why it looks, you know, pretty used and stuff. But I think it looks good like that, so I don't mind. And then it has, you know, the little Dooney little gold plate thing emblem. I love this purse, it's so cute. My mom used to have one of these when um, we were younger. She used to have this one, but in green. And now I have one, but in black. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through my bag, um, see what I got and tell you guys pretty much I guess why I have these items and what I use these items for. So let's get started. And by the way, if I get close up and you guys see my nails, do not mind. <laughs> I had acrylic nails on and I took all these off yesterday and then I was just like not in the mood to take these off. So they just look like that. And I'm gonna wait till the weekend to do that because it took me like two hours and I'm not about to sit here and do that again. All right, should I lower this or let me see? Okay, okay, that's good enough. Stop. Okay, all right, let's get into it. I'm not gonna look, I'm just gonna pull stuff out. Okay, first thing I got, I have a lotion. This is by Bath & Body Works. This is the one in a million. I love this scent. I love it more in a spray scent than a lotion scent, but it smells very good if you guys have not tried this. I got the small one. I also have a Bath & Body Works body spray. I got this during the sale, the annual, my annual sale I think and I think they're like they're 50% off and this one's the clementine and mint leaves fragrance mist this one smells so good whenever I go shopping for like body sprays and stuff I try to get the ones that smell more like perfume like opposed to like the sweet because I feel like the sweet scent is more for like you know teenagers and stuff like that so this one smells like perfume if you guys want to try that one out the name of it in case you want it now again those two i have another lotion which is by vaseline this one i might stop to get at the store because we left work we left to work one day and we were both so freaking ashy and i was like dude we gotta get lotion we can't show up to work like this looking all crusty and whatnot so i got that i got two freaking lotions okay <clears throat> i also have a nail file I've learned the hard way to always carry a nail file in my bag because my nails are so thin and they break all the time and I cannot work peacefully if my nails are like that because then I just want to like, you know, mess with them. So I decided, you know, just to keep a nail file in my bag and I'm very thankful for making myself do that because I definitely need it more often. <clears throat> I got this in like a pack of six from Ross and they were all like little glittery ones. I have two of these here too. These are the ones I was using yesterday. This one has like little Christmas trees and then this one has pink glitter. And then this one's just like silver. It came in a pack of six. I don't know where the other three are. I think I already used them. I threw them away. Um, I got these from Ross. They were like 
three dollars i believe three dollars yeah i have my wallet which i have my medicaid card and my id and my debit card it's in here somewhere i don't know it's in there it's in there my little louis vuitton wallet i use this all the time all the time and i like it because it's small and i sometimes i'm like not in the mood to carry a purse and i literally will just carry this i'll attach my keys to the hook and that's it next thing i got are my sunglasses i got these from target I got these from Target because I thought they were super cute. I was obsessed with like glitter sunglasses for a really long time. And so I got these from Target. They're a little scratched up because I don't put them in a case. Um, I do have some Mew Mew sunglasses that I found. I found those and um, I bought a case for them because I was like, oh my God, I want to like keep these, you know, nice and stuff. And then the one time I don't put them in the case and I throw them in my bag, I get like the worst scratch on the lens and now I don't even want to use them. So I just use these little cheapy ones and then some other ones that I have in my car. All right, next thing I got, let's see, I got this little glitter hair clip that my best friend Maudie gave me. She got it for me, it's so cute, I love it. I love hair pins, I don't know why. And then I have my gold hoops, always gotta have my hoops. These came in a pack with these and then like some rose gold color. I got these at TJ Maxx. I believe these were also $3. It came with three pairs. So I got the gold ones and then I got the silver ones. And then I have the rose gold. I just don't know where they are. I also got hand sanitizer. I always have to have hand sanitizer because I work with my hands a lot and my hands get disgustingly dirty. So I have this. This is in um, a eucalyptus experiment from the Stress Relief um, collection. I also have the lotion bottle from the Stress Relief collection. I got this on the semi-annual sale. So it's also 50% off. So I got that. And then the matching little thing. Now I have like a little hand sanitizer holder case. I have two and I honestly don't even know where the heck they are to be honest and I'm probably gonna look for them after this because I want it now. Okay, next thing I got is this little Louis Vuitton wallet pouch. If you saw my, um, where I get my designer dupe video, you'll know where this came from. I got this off of DHgate. And in here, I usually have my chapsticks and stuff, but I'm pretty sure they're thrown in the bottom of my bag. Um, I just have a popcorn coupon from work and a hair clip. This is so cute, look at it, I love it. I'm gonna put this hair clip in there with it. This one, I believe I got these at Ross too. These came in a pack of two, I got those at Ross. So I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm also gonna put my earrings and I'm gonna put this hand sanitizer and I put that card back in there. So yeah, that's what I have in this little bag. Not too much. Sometimes I like to have my stuff in individual bags but then it all just ends up in the bottom of the bag. And then I just have two empty bags in my bag. Okay, I have a Carmex chapstick. I need some right now, actually, because my lips are pretty freaking dry. I feel like I need chapstick all the time now. It's so annoying. I had some old Worst Fest tickets from when me and Mike went to Worst Fest this year. That was my first time going and it was so much fun we went by ourselves um we have quite a few tickets left actually i think this is enough for like three beers let me see one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four almost it's almost enough for five beers <laughs> so yeah we went that was so much fun um although i guess there was a fire that same month and then where's this was over which is so sad but who knows maybe next year it'll it'll be back to its normal way and we can go again but i i wanted to save these because we had never been and i was like oh my god memories <laughs> i have another bag in here this little bag my mom gave me for christmas it has a k on it it's so cute and in here i have a bunch of money i'm not gonna pull it out i haven't gone to the atm yet i have a plastic wrapper of some sort I have some coins 
And then I have this Pink Sork Mist Magnesium Body Spray. Now, I have this because I am pregnant and I was super, 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 super nauseous like the first month and I literally wanted to try everything to try to like help me with that because it was so bad. I would cry at night and just be like, oh, I feel terrible. And so I saw this at HEB and I wanted to try it and it did absolutely nothing. So, <laughs> so I'm kind of stuck with it. Um, it's for morning sickness, aches and pains, poor sleep, and more. And with this, it'll tell you, like, for nausea, you spray it on your arms, your wrists, torso, and then you massage it and let it dry. For improved sleep, you spray it on your feet before bed, you massage it and let it dry. And then stress and energy, you spray on your skin, you massage it in, and let it dry. Now, maybe this helped other women, I don't know, but it didn't really do anything for me. I still try to use it sometimes because this was like $11 and I'm like, well, I need to use it. So that's why I keep it in my bag just in case, you know, it's like a last resort. So that's what I got in there. You see, I have all these little bags and there's like nothing in them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just ate a maruchan, a hot and spicy chicken maruchan. I love the juice of the soup after. I think it's so good, I don't know why. So I just like to sit and sip on it. I'm savoring it because it's really good. Okay, I also got my prenatal vitamins. Um, I did get my ones from the doctor, I finished those and then I got these and I don't know, I kind of feel like the ones that I got from the doctor were what was making me sick or making me feel like extra, extra nauseous. Cause after I stopped taking those and I started taking these, I didn't feel sick anymore. Like I don't have morning sickness. I wake up fine. I have really good sleep. <clears throat> so I don't know if it was those, but I do take these now. These are the one a day prenatal gummies. And I'm just so happy that the morning sickness is gone because I seriously could not handle it. Okay. I have a little brush. I got this at Target. I always have to have a brush because if y'all don't know this yet, I have a really bad habit of picking my split ends for my hair. I will sit there for hours just pulling my split ends apart or pulling them out of my hair. And then after I do that, my hair just feels so dry and so grainy. So I have to like brush it through because it just feels, it just feels disgusting. You know? I was reading about it and it said that um, actually a lot of women have are doing the same thing I was reading about. Like a lot of women were saying that they have the same habit and that they've had it since they were like 14 years old and these women are already like 40. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be 40 years old picking my freaking split ends. Like, what am I gonna do? And um, so I was reading about it and a lot of the things that I was reading were saying that, you know, it's due to stress and you do it when you're stressed or stuff like that. Oh, here's my card. I'm gonna put this in my wallet before I lose it. I actually need to go to the bank, so I think I'm gonna do that after this video. All right, I have some Skittles. I wanted Skittles really bad last night, and so Mike went and got me some Skittles. And I sat down and I ate the entire bag practically in one sitting. And then I had a stomach ache after that, but it was worth it. I feel like my cravings are starting to come in because when I first found out I was pregnant, after I started taking like the prenatals and stuff, mm -mm. I did not want to eat. All I wanted to drink was water. I did not have an actual meal until maybe like about two weeks ago. And I'm seven weeks and a day right now. And so, that was really like really difficult because I was so so hungry but my body like rejected everything I did not want nothing I didn't want vegetables I didn't want soup I didn't want meat I didn't want eggs nothing just thinking about food would make me sick so I didn't really eat that much to be honest and I lost a few pounds because when I went to the doctor 
um, she weighed me and I think I was 130, 136. And then when I went for my second appointment, I was 133. And <clears throat> I told her, I was like, I haven't been eating cause I just have not been hungry. Like, or I've not had the want for food. Every time I smelled food, it would just make me sick. I, I didn't want it. I mean, I would try to eat, like the only thing I would eat was yogurt and like strawberries and stuff and that's it. And that's seriously all I wanted to eat. And it wasn't enough and my stomach was just, I it was so empty, but anytime I ate anything else, it would just come right back up. So yeah, that was a really hard time, but I'm glad it's over and I'm just happy that now, you know, I'm eating, I'm getting all my nutrients, all my stuff, so yeah. By the way, there will be a video um, talking about how I found out and uh, me and Mike are going to sit down together and talk about everything and how we felt when we found out. So just wait for that. Moving on. I just realized I have another freaking lotion <laughs> in this damn bag. This one's one of my favorites though. This is a Japanese cherry blossom. I love this one. I love it even in the spray form because it smells like perfume. So... That's kind of ridiculous that I have three bottles of lotion. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep the Vaseline one because this one will definitely give me more moisture than those two, to be honest. Sorry about the body works, but it's true. Okay, I have this Wet n Wild makeup brush. I got this a long time ago, which I'm gonna put this in my restroom because if you saw my get ready with me, I was using the same freaking powder brush for everything, so. I gotta put this one back in the restroom so I can start using this one too. I think I paid like five bucks for this. I got it at H-E-B, it has like a rolled gold tip and I thought it was so cute. So I have that. I have a mirror, it says Pretty in Pink. Pretty in Pink is my favorite movie of all times. Um, that's why I got it, cause it said Pretty in Pink. I got this from Ross. This was, I think $3. And it has, you know, the magnified side and the regular mirror side. So I have that. I'm gonna put that in this bag. Put that in here. Lemon lime salt. A must for a Hispanic woman. I love lemon lime salt. Lemon lime salt on hot Cheetos is so good. It's so good. I actually have like three other ones in the pantry, in the kitchen, because Mike already knows that when he goes to the store, he needs to bring me back something sour. And so he'll get me like every single flavor that they have of these and I just collect them. So right now I have this one. My favorite one is the mango chili one. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. I have two more chapsticks, a Carmex and a regular chapstick. I'm gonna put those in these bags. I'm telling y'all, my lips have been super freaking chapped, so. I gotta keep all these because I will use them. So I gotta make sure I have one everywhere. Okay, I have two hair ties, which is a surprise because I could never find these dang things. The one in my hair, I found on the floor, it was broken and I tied it together because I needed one so bad and I couldn't find any. But I don't know why I didn't think to look in my purse. But I have those, I have an extra, wall outlet for a uh, plug charger. Take the plastic off. Next thing I got are my AirPods. Um, I don't have a case for them, so they're just in this little, you know, normal case that it comes in. I do want to get a little case. I can hook onto my little wallet. It would be so cute. I might get one online. I'm gonna look online right now after this, see what I find. Love that. I have two permanent markers. This is what I used to write at work. And then we're getting to the end here. I literally have like just nothing. A must. Eyelash tweezers, these are a must. Have you ever tried to put eyelashes on without tweezers? I can't do it, I can't. I need to be precise. I need to get all up in the corners, all up in the edge. So these work. And I like that these are like curved so I literally just sit them on my eye and that's it like that. That's it in here see it's a good thing that i went that i did this because now i'm like organizing everything and it's not going to be so packed all right last things i have this little bracelet which i used as an anklet but it broke 
and now it doesn't fit around my ankle so that's gonna go in the trash and then just some pennies that's it some pennies and some trash oh and a dime oh and then it has a little hook in case i want to hook my wallet <clears throat> but yeah that's pretty much it that why did it seem like there was so many more things in my bag than what it looks like on bed because that's what it looks like Oh, and usually I always carry a water bottle in my bag because I always have to have water now, you know? So I usually always carry a water bottle and then my keys, but I don't know where they are. Not a big deal. But that is everything that was in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed all of my items in my bag. I had quite a few things. Now I think I'm going to sit here and finish these Skittles and then I'll put everything back in my bag. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in my next one.